Questions and comments, question uh, Kamalcha, oh, the Honourable Member for Cumberland Colchester. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and, and certainly uh, I appreciate the impassioned speech and, and the, we know that Canada has given significant support to Ukraine uh, thus far, uh, almost $10 billion, I think, by the addition. One of the concerns I would have is, uh, is in spite of the uh, incredible woke legislation that's woven into this free trade agreement, uh, the other part is, is Canada appears, in my mind, why would you negotiate a free trade agreement now when we've given Ukraine significant amounts of money? Why do we need a free trade agreement with a country that is at war, which to me would put them in a significant uh, and difficult bargaining uh, position? And I believe that Canada is taking advantage of Ukraine at this time with a free trade agreement at this time. And, and I really wonder if the government has, this Liberal government, has given any thought to that. <laughs> We'll give everybody the comment to make the comment that, that we were nonpartisan there a second ago. The Honourable Member for Kingston and the Islands. We certainly were, Mr. Speaker, and I got to admit, I did not see that question coming. You're wrong. Um, wow. Listen, at the very outset of the question, by referring to woke wor words in this agreement, I mean, the member is, uh, you know, wanting to politicize this. Listen, let's just remember, and I hope that the that the member who made those comments reflects on this, that this is an agreement. This is wording that was agreed to by both Canada and Ukraine. So to be critical of this legislation and the words in it, you're also being critical of Ukraine and their position on this. Now listen, I, am, I know there are other members that are kind of heckling, um, but I hope that this is just this individual member's perspective so. on this, and it's not the member from Abbotsford for, who I hear I talking back so. there. Uh, I, I really hope this is a one-off in the Conservative Party. Yeah. Uh, if this is the way that they're going in terms of how they're going to ultimately be voting on this, um, I'm floored. I'm absolutely floored. Uh, I'm just chair. I'm just the chair occupant. I just need to remember the you, the, the you, usage of yous in the, uh, in the debate that we're having today. I guess you're the Honourable on. Member from Davenport. Mr. Speaker, the residents in my riding of Davenport are proud of Canada's unwavering support of Ukraine as it is fighting an illegal, brutal invasion by Russia. The opposition is questioning the need for the important Canada-Ukraine trade legislation that is currently before this House calling it woke legislation. This puts into question their support towards Ukraine. Can the Prime Minister inform this House how we are committed to supporting Ukraine in their fight for freedom and why this trade legislation is so important? The Honourable Member, sorry, not the Honourable Member for Davenport, but rather the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the Member for Davenport for her unflinching advocacy on this important issue. We have been steadfast in our support of Ukraine since day one of Russia's illegal invasion. The modernization of our trade deal with Ukraine is another important area of cooperation between our two countries, which is why it is so disappointing to hear the member that you just called out, the member uh, from Cumberland Colchester, refer to the Canada-Ukraine Free Trade Agreement as, quote, woke legislation. On this side of the House, Mr. Speaker, our support for Ukraine has been unwavering. The leader of the Conservative Party cannot say the same. Yeah.